Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I've gotten in my copy of Target for today, uh, Bombers Over the Reich, uh, 1942 to 1945 by Legion uh, Legion War Games. It's designed by Steve Dixon and Bob Best. This is a, uh, a spiritual successor to uh, B-17, Queen of the Skies. So I'm anxious. I, didn't, I never played that. I understand that was kind of the, uh, the intro or the... Uh, uh, inspiration for um, the Hunters submarine game. Uh, kind of you know, set up a crew, going on missions, do things. Wasn't a big fan of the Hunters uh, for a variety of reasons, but I've heard good things about B-17 and uh, and wanted to give this one a shot. So it just came in today, and I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. So here we go. Legion makes some really, really nice games, good quality. Uh, so I'm hoping this is not kind of weird. The uh, shrink film is kind of rubbery. Uh, it's, not, it's not giving me a nice slice, so I'm going to peel it, I guess. It's more like a saran wrap. Oh, well. I mean, it's not a big deal. There we go. Let's get a hole. I'm going to rip into it. So, um... Take a look now. Uh, hardware out of the way. Okay, let's see what we got here. Good quality box, beautiful artwork. Love the art. All right, so we start out with a bunch of bags. I'm not gonna count them. Just got a bunch of bags. Pretty cool. Dice, tiny dice. Uh, some ten sideds and a couple of six sideds in uh, red and blue. And they're in a bag. They're actually, in a sealed bag. Ooh. You're like a pop matic thing there. It's a big bag for counters or whatever. I'm sure this will all go into a tray when I'm done. So we get the rules of play black and white. Thick book. 44 pages. Uh, let's start reading this PDF. They finally released that. Uh, committed to the game before they actually released the uh, the rule book online, but uh, it's pretty pretty big print. And actually, I think the rules only go to um, uh, twenty six page twenty six, and you get to the optional rules at page twenty seven. Um, so you can start playing pretty quick. Uh, it's it's large print. It's a uh, black and white. Yeah, matte finish. Very nice, though. So there's your book. Then we have the Secret Combined Strategic Tar Targets Committee, Jockey Committee, Daylight Strategic Bombing Campaign of Europe. It's the Target Listings and Gazetteer Secret. So, just not going to show it to you, I guess. No. Another thick, thick book. This one's 52 pages. Again, black and white. Looks like, let's see. This is your charts and tables. Basically, all it is is a bunch of charts and tables, which is pretty, wow. What a lot of detail. Now, unfortunately, one thing I've read online is that with all these tables, three tables got left out. So, good news is uh, the actual designer, Steve Dixon, released them on his his site. I know there's a JPEG uh, buried somewhere on Consum World. Um, hopefully somebody will upload that to, uh, to Board Game Geek for easier access by more players. Um, wish companies would you know, support both sites equally instead of hiding things on one that not everybody goes to, but, uh, but, uh, at least you can find it. There are links on BGG, uh, to get to the, uh, to the missing tables. Um, but missing tables, notwithstanding, it's a very nice little booklet. I'll be reading all this very fast. All right, so there's that. But wait, those are target listings. These are also game tables. Wow. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. This is telling you how to play the game. I guess it's getting you through the actual gameplay. This is pre-mission step tables. Um, starting the mission tables, zones tables, combat tables. These are the fighting ones. These are seriously just must be the targets. As it says, target listings like as a tier. Again, people who are familiar with B-17 Queen of the Skies may know all this stuff. This is new to me. So, love World War II games. I've not really done too much with flight games, so getting sick with the page count. We're at 32 on this bad boy. Ooh. Hopefully it's not a spreadsheet game where it's just looking up a bunch of tables. Pilot flight operating instructions for Army models B-17 F and G, the YB-40 armed escort, and the B-24 D and J. These are obviously your, uh, your aircraft. That's restricted for official use only, so you know what? Don't turn me in. I don't want to go before the Senate. More charts. More tables. More charts and tables. There we go. So these are probably these are the plane specific data. Digging right on in. It's heavy boss. Alright, so we have some charts here. We have a zone worksheet. Single-sided, the B-17F mission log sheet. I'm sure you can make copies of this. Hopefully they've got it where you can just download and print them. Single-sided. Or uh, they don't seem glossy enough to be dry erasable. Uh, so you may laminate them and use them. But, uh, oh, players should copy sheet before play. So obviously make copies of it. It'd be nice if hopefully they've got them as PDFs because who copies things anymore? print them. So this is in 1942, we would have mimeographed them. So, uh, so we got the B-17G, B-24D, the B-24J, and the UB-40. No, the YB-40. So no red, red wine here, just going to be uh, the YB-40 craft. All right, moving right along, another chart. We have the group game assignment sheet. 1942 and 1943. So, it'd be obviously different based on the year. Wow, a lot of paper in this. Eventually, there's going to be some boards and some counters, I believe. So, we'll see. Mission results log. Again, another copy sheet. Again, hopefully, downloadable, printable. All right, then your composite mission record. Uh, so for all your missions, uh, your plane, your target type, bomb run, the bombardier, navigator, pilot, so on and so forth. Keep track of who your players are. And then we've got a piece of shirt cardboard. But obviously it's just to protect the sheets inside. What else we got? All right, so now we got formation Group formation boards, we have 42 and 43. So these large size, double double uh, letter sized. Overlaid on a map, coming out from London. I guess it's not relevant. The map is just for decor, I guess, again. You people with experience are going to know this. I'm just showing you what's in the box. One of those. You got crew placement sheets for each of the ships, each of the craft. Okay, so these open up. That's where your crew is going to go. Group leader, mission lead, pilot, lead bomber, so on and so forth. The artwork's really gorgeous. I do like that. Uh, crew placement sheet is on the other side. I don't know how this sets up on the table. Um, what all you have to have out uh, for a mission. Maybe you got this and you got another formation board and some other things. It may, may end up taking quite a bit of table space here. So uh, maybe some of this could have been reduced. I don't know. I don't know until I play it, but we'll see. So this is the 17F. 
17G. Got the 24D. Four J and yes, the YB forty. YB forty? Because I'm no longer thirty nine. Actually, I'm no longer forty either. So there's the YB forty. Oh, he only has an ammo stalker over here on the side. I'm gonna have to do some reading on these these various planes. All right, so we now have. Some the 17F, the 17G, the YB40, these are your craft. Can they punch out? To what end? I do not know. Single sided little cards. Maybe to move along some map. I have no idea. Big flat counters. About, uh, about maybe a 4x5. Like a 4x5 photo. So you get one of those for each plane. And then we've got the counter sheets. There's one here with five eighths inch counters. These have your crew and your markers, so on and so forth. Killed in action, frostbite, serious wounds, light wounds, fire, oxygen, pilots, navigators, screw. Cool. Oh, and they're single sided. Interesting. I don't think I've seen single-sided counters ever. I hope that's not a misprint. Probably not. They know what they're doing. But as you see, this one is single-sided. So hopefully that's right. We've got some planes. Looks like the rest of these are planes. All right. Do a game board? Nope. So it's counter if. One counter sheet of planes, these are large, maybe inch and a quarter. Um, and I guess these are your targets for today. And they are they are single-sided as well. So this is a single-sided counter game. And kudos to them for not uh, cheaping out and making them double-sided where each side is independent of the other. Um, because that gets kind of annoying when you gotta like flip counters to find the right one and and they don't match up, so good job, Legion. You didn't need a print, you didn't need a print. So here we have a board, a board, ah, obviously. This is where your plane is gonna go. On the board here, there's a spot for it. So the plane sits there. And then you've got the enemies coming in around you, I assume, in zones. 12 o'clock level, high, low, etc., etc. So, boom. Cool. All right. So, target for today Bombers over the Reich, 1942 to 1945. A nice game board. Two sheets of single sided counters. Nicely printed. You've got your plain cards. Nice little touch there. You've got your five plane diagram sheets. You've got formation board. You've got shirt card board. A bunch of log sheets that, again, hopefully you can just print out instead of having a photocopy. And one, two, three, four books and four dice. That is what you get inside. Ah, I'm going to put it all back inside there. That's what you get inside. Target for today, uh, Legion War Games, designed by Steve Dixon and Bob Best. Thanks for watching. God bless you.